It's your girl Nicole Naray, and I'm reporting for a Land Eater and that's our voice entertainment. And I'm sitting here with the DJ, the producer, the the rapper himself, Mr. Busted Wide Open, Lil Key. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So welcome to Broward. It is. It's lovely. We at Club Atrium right now. So how's the love of Colorado, Florida? How how's Florida treating you? Oh, man, it treat me pretty good. Like, you know, we doing a lot of shows and getting out there network, meeting new people, you know what I'm saying? And just expanding the business and you know, just 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 building that name, you know what I'm saying? Now talk about networking. You should be possibly the king of networking. You started off as a DJ. Now, starting off as a DJ, how is it now that you're an artist reaching out to other DJs to get your music out there? I mean, how's that feedback and how's your relationship going? I mean, just as a DJ, like, I, I, I feel like I can pretty much vibe with the DJs a little better, but as a DJ, I know how they feel when they in the club and they got niggas hounding them about their music. And you definitely know what kind yeah. of music they look for yeah, to play. Exactly. So I, I, I can pretty much, you know, get a better feel and a better vibe with them. So it just makes it a little, it's just, it makes it a little bit more easier to network with them, that's all. Okay, so where's DJing on your agenda? Are you still DJing a little bit? Or is it on the back burner right now? Not DJing, I'm, I'm always on DJ. Whenever I'm on the road, I'm going to show you the hottest clubs in town. So. This business always gets slow. Even when you're doing shows, unless you got hot records, you know what I'm saying? So I always have something to fall back on. I'm going to always go back DJing because that's what I use to break my music. Break anybody else. That's coming out of town. Now, look, he's obviously the name behind Keys on Boys, Keys on Productions. Can you tell us a little bit about Keys on Productions? Keys on Productions is just a label that I found in like five years ago. Pretty much, I just went out and like pretty picked up, pretty much picked up like a lot of talent out coming out of Tampa. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got an artist named Javon Black. Javon Black. We got a record called Shorty Tear Up. Um, we got Spizzle. We got a record called Blue Leg. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just 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 pretty much just trying to you know form a little label, you know, and, and, and not just have to always be a rapper or artist. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back and let other artists. Now everybody have their own trademark and vibe going on. What does Keys on Productions? Sound like we make y'all different. What, what, what can we expect? I mean, we pretty much make a lot of party music. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got a lot, of, you got you know, a lot of artists out there that's really making like a lot of street records, rap and shit like that. But we pretty much make records that have fun. You know, for the motherfuckers that want to come to the club and really just you know get a lot of that, you know, fucked up shit off the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we do. Okay, so what are you gonna do with the music? Are you gonna be releasing any music soon? Or what are you gonna do? So what were you thinking when you were producing, laying down a trap? What's, what's the mastermind behind Buster Wide Open? Because the club, especially the strip club, is jumping. It's live. I mean, like when I did that record, I was just, I, I just love the studio fat boy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, 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 and like, you, he, he seen it first hand. Like, when I, when I go in there, I just, I just have fun, man. I don't, I don't go in there and try to like write no hit record. It's just, I went in there and I was thinking about, you know, that round and round, she go that old school round and round, she go there. I just threw that in the record, I threw the buzzer when I opened it, and then the record just happened, man. It just happened. Yeah. Like, you know, like, like that. So, what was the name behind Keys on Boys? Keys on Productions. Keys on Bunch of artists like coming out of town. Uh, DJ Noodles hosted it. He's he a big DJ down in town right now on the radio. I support my records, a lot of my records. Like, All right, so what can all the fans expect next? After Keys to the City, what's next? What's coming up? What you're putting out there in the street? We got new, uh, we got you know, two new records after we got She Go Live, that's like real big. Uh, Central, Central Florida. What's really, called? She go live. She go live. Yeah, that one ain't really like spread out yet. It's still new. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then we got another one that was called Fuck the Bike. That's the song. Oh, you gonna perform it tonight? Yeah. All right. So we're gonna have an exclusive here on Club Atrium. Now, what before we go, just let everybody out there who's like, okay, you know, I like the song, but I don't know the man behind the song. Let everybody know who is Lil' Key. Lil' Key is just, you know what I'm saying, the little nigga, man, just, you know, trying to feed his family off his music, man, and trying to get y'all to have fun in the club. That's it. That's who I am. That DJ, turn producer, turn artist, that's just trying to get y'all to, you know, got a dance floor on the floor. That's 
The man who knows how to do it all, and we having fun with Buster Wilds. We having fun with it. Hey, hey, you know what? Like I said, I mean, that's probably one of my biggest records. Um, he, he got me my deal. Um, he got me making shows all over, not just in Florida, but in Georgia. And we're gonna keep having fun because we're gonna say a lot more from Lil Key. And you have any shout outs before we go before you hit the stage? And yeah, man, shout out to Nassau boy, you know what I'm saying? Land Eater for bringing me to the city, man. Um, like, I've been getting a lot of love down here. I've been in town, in this area between a lot of down in Bay County, Hawaii. I've been doing more shows down here than anywhere, really. So, like, just to be able to come down here, man. All right, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Kyle Rock, see my boss Devin, the whole Land Eater Entertainment family, Nassau Boys, and I we just wanna let you know MBLE TV is coming soon. It's the girl Nicole Naray with the exclusive with Lucky. <laughs>